Hello, this is Buzzies Are Cool, and this is my first ever spoken video tutorial. So this is the uh, first of several video tutorials that I'll be making about the basics of using the program Paint Tool Sci. And this one will be all about keyboard shortcuts, so the lazy person's way of drawing on here. So I guess we'll start off by making a canvas, that's control N for pretty much everything that you'll ever use, control N will make a new file. And um, so here you can always select your tools by clicking them, but it's a bit faster and it builds up over time to be able to uh, just select your tool based on what key on your keyboard you press. So here's my pen, here's my airbrush, here's the brush, and I did all of those with pressing a key before them. You notice that I didn't go all the way over here to press them. So I have like B set to pen, A set to airbrush, and V set to brush, and of course you have your eraser, which at the moment is really small. So for uh, a quick change in brush size, instead of going over here, I have mine set to pressing Control, Alt, and then dragging your cursor to however big you want it. So to erase big things, I'll have it around there. So yeah, you can do that with any of your other tools too. So here's a big pen brush. But I will show you how to do that in just a second, right after I describe these. So with your pen, or your tool, sorry, you can right click it, press options, and then assign which key you want it to correspond to. So here's pen, B, okay. And you can do that with any of your tools. And you can set more tools, of course, by um, right clicking an empty space and then selecting whichever tool you want it to be. So that's that, but that is also a somewhat, uh, I don't know, like uh, it's a more difficult way to do things. Or, no, not really, it's one way to do things. Here's the other way. Up here in help slash config, you can press key config, and this window will be brought up. Now, here is where a lot of things can happen. So, ignoring this for a second, we'll go over here. Here is where like all of the different tasks you can assign to a set key or combination of keys. So you can do all of these. So new, open, these are all files. So in other words, you can reach it by navigating through here. But what you'll probably want to do is under, uh, I guess edit is good, canvas, layers, mask selections but what I usually do is in brush actually no it's not there I'm not sure where I use it yeah but you can just navigate through here and you'll find a lot of different things I guess you can't actually select tools from here so that's why you can do what I showed you earlier but you can select many many other things so, see with none of these selected, that means that if you just press one of these keys, this will happen. So, for instance, I have Z set to zooming in. So, if you zoom in, you also need to zoom out, right? So, I have that with Shift. So, you select that box and it will have Shift plus the key. So, Shift plus Z equals zoom out. And how you select these things is you just highlight whichever combination you want, and then you navigate to whichever task you want it to accomplish, and yeah, there it is. Zoom out. And also, you can have multiple keys or multiple of these at the same time. So I have Control, Shift, and Z to reset position completely. So to demonstrate that, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, and when you press all of them, you're going to reset position, as it said. 
and you can do lots of things like rotate um, save as which is usually control shift s with a lot of programs but I'm not sure if this one oh I guess it is I just doubled it up anyway that's about it for keyboard shortcuts this is Budgie Sarkul signing out thanks for watching and take care